Right now in the Western Pacific in the Philippine Sea, we have Regassa has strengthened and intensified quickly over the last 12 hours has now become a strong typhoon with winds of 115 miles per hour. A central eye pressure has dropped dramatically to 957 millibars. That's 40 millibar drop in the last 12 hours. It is still moving very slowly across the Philippine Sea, heading west northwest at seven miles per hour. That that's given it time to develop and grow stronger with all this heat in the ocean surface and evaporation rates to grow and develop and intensify this typhoon into a beast that's going to make its way through the Luzon Strait in between Taiwan and the Philippines and curve into the South China Sea and make a lot of damage potentially in the South China Sea affecting areas like Hong Kong, Macau and the Guangdong province which is home to a lot of people and possibly making landfall on a city called Zhangzheng which has 7 million people along the southern Chinese coastline. Again this is a beast of a typhoon that is developing and it could rival the strongest in recent history which is Mujajay and Vicente in 2015 and 2012 respectively that made landfall for at 130 mile per hour each which is equivalent to a category 4 hurricane in the Atlantic. Now this typhoon Regassa has four distinct characteristics which could cause the coastline of China a lot of issues which includes the wind speed, the very low air pressure, the pounding storm surge and most likely the amount of precipitation in the area. Now Regassa is projected to have its peak intensification on Monday around midday which would mean winds soaring up to 155 miles per hour making it a violent super typhoon and gusts over 190 miles per hour as it moves from the Luzon Strait into the South China Sea again pushing all of that wind and rain and possibly storm surge onto the southern Chinese coastline.